Zillow. We've all visited the website. We all know who they are. And we know that every house in the United States is listed on Zillow in some way, shape, or form. And I just thought I'd take a couple minutes here to talk about how they do it, what they do, and um, what all of that information means. Uh, so I'll start with for sale listings on Zillow. Zillow has a relationship with the multiple listing systems across the country. And the MLSs are what realtors belong to. And um, when a realtor takes a new listing, they input that house into MLS and it syndicates out to all the real estate websites and Zillow is one of them. So when you see a house that's listed for sale on Zillow, odds are that it came from an MLS. Unless, of course, it's a for sale by owner uh, because Zillow does allow for sale by owners to post on Zillow as well. Other properties you'll see on Zillow are pre-foreclosures and foreclosures. Now, when you see that little tag, um, I know it, it, it's easy to get excited. Oh, look at this. It's a pre-foreclosure. Oh, look at this. It's a foreclosure. But uh, you got to keep in mind that just because it's listed as a pre-foreclosure or a foreclosure does not mean that it's for sale. Uh, pre-foreclosure is when the property owner hasn't been paying their mortgage and the bank starts the foreclosure process. They go to the court and they file what's called a Liz Pendens. The Zillow company keeps track of these things. They look at public records. They look at the clerk of courts. They look at what's been sold. They have that data available, just like we all do, because it's public record. What Zillow does is they take that public information and they compile it and they, you know, attach it to the property. So that's how you see those long property histories. It's either pulled from public record or pulled from MLS. Now with the pre-foreclosures and the foreclosures, um, you know, pre-foreclosure again means that the buyer, the owner is not paying their mortgage. The foreclosure process has started, but the house isn't necessarily listed for sale. Same thing with foreclosed properties. The bank owns that property and Zillow has acknowledged that that's happened, but the house isn't necessarily for sale. Homes are not for sale until they're either, you know, listed for sale by owner, listed on the MLS with a realtor, or put onto one of those auction websites. So keep in mind that every home that you see listed on Zillow is um, not necessarily listed for sale. Their Zestimates, they get those by compiling that public record, that sales data, and looking at properties that have sold around the home that they're, they're talking about. So 123 Smith Street, they look at all the homes that sold around 123 Smith Street and they compile their, their, um, their value based on those sales. Um, not going to be as accurate as with a realtor because you know, they don't always stick within certain square feet parameters. They don't necessarily know, you know, that this neighborhood's a little bit different than that neighborhood. And, um, you know, this home has these updates and this one does not. So it's just a computer algorithm that pulls a value. So one last thing in regards to Zillow, when you are cruising around and you find a property you like and you click on it and you see that there's like three or four agents listed in like the top right hand corner of the listing, those premier agents, those are agents that have paid to basically market themselves on Zillow. That's how Zillow makes their money off of realtors that are willing to um, pay for leads. So those realtors don't necessarily represent the property. Uh, they may from time to time, you know, listing agents um, can also be people that, that pay to, uh, to advertise on Zillow. But if you want to talk to uh, the listing agent directly or even on for sale by owners, you want to talk to the owner, what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the listing. That's where you're going to find the listing agent information. So that's how, excuse me, that's how Zillow works. If you've got questions about anything real estate or interested in buying or selling, have questions about your home, the market, what's going on in your neighborhood, I am more than happy to help provide that info and chit chat with you about it. I am Lisa Jones, broker and owner, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen. I hope you stay well, be well. Thanks a bunch. Have a good day. Bye.